I've been working on, oof, I've been working on this uh, top secret project. It doesn't release till the end of the month. But it's been good. Got a couple of new things on the horizon here. Thought a vlog. Thought a vlog might be nice. Lammy. This is a video that is coming. talk about creative discipline today. If you're ever in my neck of the woods and you have the chance, totally find Lucky Penny Burger, wherever they are, go get a burger. Fantastic burger. One time I went, I was at my friend's work, and I was standing in line because the line's always super long. This person was like, are you Cody Warner? I was like, yeah. They're like, I watch your YouTube videos. So this is at my house in Harrisburg. And they're like, yeah, I'm actually from Colorado. I just came here for Lucky Penny Burger. <laughs> Good news, just found out that they're gonna be close by. WebFX is a, is a private business, obviously, but I feel like if they listed it on their website, you know, that Lucky Penny's gonna be there, I can go there, right? It's walkable. It is walkable from the office. I got these nuts. I got <laughs> Um, I got these nuts yesterday because uh I need a healthy snack and a healthy alternative to Halloween candy. Macadamia, cashews, and pistachios all not roasted, raw, hyped on them. I don't think I've made a vlog in Harrisburg since I moved back to start up Harrisburg, the office. I, I don't have that private office anymore. Yeah, love it. Back. Energy, way better. Energy level off the charts, 10x, let's go. What is uh, this? Is this for oh, a party? We're gonna do s'mores yeah. today. S'mores? <laughs> Wanna know a fun life hack that I figured out? If I don't make coffee at home, then I have to wait to get coffee until I come here. It gets me here quicker. Look at that. Look at that. I like living on the edge. See what I'm saying? You feel this energy? You never got this over like, I'm just sitting alone in my office, there's a backdrop, I'm like, what am I even doing? Here it's like, we're working. We're working, that's what we're doing. I like this uh, mix here, the candy corn's a nice surprise. Oh, attack it. Yeah. Just try to attack the camera. Okay. It's because he thinks it's a squirrel, probably. Yeah. Oh! oh no. Is there anything oh. I could do to make the background more appealing? No, dude, you look so cool. <laughs> Uh, Reese's? Yeah. All right, I recruited Kanan, Christian, and Josiah to go to Lucky Penny with me. You excited? Guess what? Josiah and Christian have never been there before. Wait. Like the line is gonna be long. Uh, how long? Like long, from maybe like 30 people long. What are we talking, like uh, 30 minutes 30, maybe. 30 minutes, I brought a book. <laughs> hey Christian, people always can't believe that we're still friends. I don't see why they wouldn't believe that. I always tell them it was a buyout, not a breakup. That's you right. know what I'm saying? That's a good Come way on. Of putting it. No, but really, it could have gone. Could have gone terribly. Oh yeah, <laughs> easily. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't kidding about the line. Nah, this is less than a half an hour for sure. Lucky Penny is the real deal. It's a different take on lemonade. Can I do the coffee? Take a sip of that lavi, Christian. Oh, that's good. Wow. Pretty interesting, huh? Yeah. It's like a sweet flower. All right, we're lucky pennied up. We're headed back. I don't want to wait. Can we just sit in the parking lot? I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. We're just four party boys sitting on a bench. <laughs> yeah. No, I think I ate it all in like 90 seconds. It was amazing. Definitely one of the best burgers I've ever had. That's what I like to hear. Josiah said he's going to wait until he's done to give us his review. Mm -hmm. Thoughts on the lucky penny? Pretty good. Pretty good. No, but listen, you gotta have, it's what you surround yourself with. The bun was just okay. If they had better bread on it, it would be like, it would take it to the next level. The burger's great, onions were great, fries were okay. Fries could be better, they're just average. So it's the whole, it's the whole package. 
I'm out still pretty okay. He's wrong. I really like a person with standards, you know? I got done with that edit on the super secret project. Pretty hyped on it, I won't lie. Creative discipline to me means actively putting yourself in a creative space, whether it's comfortable, whether you feel like it or not. Really for me, like on a day in and day out basis, and I have not been doing that. I mean, you always try, right? But you just, when you don't feel like something, it's really hard to just kind of muscle up and do it. This has been a reoccurring theme on this channel. Working out is like the most comparable thing to uh, creative discipline. Just getting up, getting out, putting in the work, because you know you want to do it, you know it makes you feel good, you know what it does to your mind, and you're just gonna do it regardless of whether or not you feel like it. The thing that's a little bit different about creative discipline is that like sometimes, especially for people like us who like, we create for a living, like this is our job. It can just, it can get a little muddy sometimes. It can get a little gray where you're like, you know, am I just working or is this really for me? And I think when it comes down to it, like it, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Yes, I wanna try to incorporate as much like creativity, self-expression for myself as I can, but applying creative energy to something that I'm getting paid for is also like a completely valid use of, of creative, of, of, of the energy, you know what I'm saying? So I think every once in a while we need to recommit to ourselves that like this is who I am, this is what I do, and I'm, I'm diving in. To being creative, to putting creative energy into the world every single day.